Nani? <laughs> I'm still upside down. How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video, we're gonna do a level that isn't even rated yet. It's called Wings of Angel by Jerk Rat. I only played a little bit of it because I didn't want to spoil it. And it looks like it's gonna be like an easier medium difficulty demon level, so... I didn't think I needed to practice it beforehand. I wanted to keep most of it a surprise. I did practice 30%, so I know a bit of it, and it looks awesome. It's dedicated to me, dedicated to EVW. So thank you so much, Jerk Rat. As a matter of fact, from now on, I don't even think I can call you Jerk Rat anymore. I'm gonna have to call you Nice Rat. It looks absolutely incredible. Let's just jump into normal mode. Let's do a couple of attempts. But I think we're going to have to go into practice mode, though. Because I think there's a boss fight at the end. Or so I hear. But either way, this level, I'm super excited for it. Anyone who's played it has said it's just absolutely incredible. So, so here we go. So, Wings of Angel, of course, we're like in heaven, right? That, that's the gates of heaven right there. We got to use our Wings of Angel to fly through the heavens. And let's do it. But it's darkening. A storm is coming. What is this madness? Ooh, man. We're doing pretty good, actually. Woo! Look at that. Doesn't that look so cool? Like the cathedral window backgrounds, whatever they're called. Some sort of stained windows. That's what they're called. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm an English teacher. Anyways, we all know that this holiness at the beginning is luring you into a false sense of security. This level wants you to feel safe. But... I wonder what it's going to end up being. Like, are we going to end up fighting some demonic forces later on? And, like, it's going to be the angels versus the demons? Are we going to fight other angels? Are the angels corrupt? Find out in the next episode of EVW. So it kind of bumps you up for you there. And then, oh, okay, you just got to hit that jump ring a little bit. It feels like the level's kind of progressively getting a little bit harder as it goes on. Like, is it going to consistently increase in difficulty? I don't know. But yeah, like, it's it's getting a little tougher here. You gotta hit that green jump ring a little late. And then, actually, you don't even press anything. You just, like, fly right into that green jump ring. Boom. And then fly up. Easy peasy. But the level is... <laughs> the level's certainly getting a little bit harder as we go on. You know what? Since I've switched to the mouse, the one game mode that I suck the most with is the wave. Like, I'm really good with the wave on the controller. I did Crimson Clutter. For Pete's sake! Why can't I do this? <laughs> I suck as the wave with the mouse. I'm terrible. Okay, no big deal, no big deal. Easy peasy. Just follow the smiles. They're not really smiles. What are they? Those are those are like those are the wings, aren't they? Oh my god. Okay, what kind of ancient civilization have we gone to this time? They look like it looks like a mosque. That's bananas. Okay, so there's a mosque in the background. And there's an angel! The wings of angel. What is the story here? Just follow the arrows, it says go down, you dummy. Okay, you gotta go pretty far down and then hit that jump ring. Wow, that's actually pretty tough. You are sinful. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> I have lived a life of sin, I admit it. Okay, that's that's, that's not that bad. That's like, that's a really intuitive part. This is cool though. So we obviously, that's like the river sticks. We're crossing over into hell. We've sinned. So we've been judged. So our angels are gonna be clipsed, are, uh, clipped off. Wait, are we Satan? It's the river sticks. I didn't even see that in the background. I just I just said the river sticks because I, I know my stuff. I don't know my stuff that well. Whoa, that looks so cool. That is bananas. Okay, we're definitely in some sort of hell dimension now. Well, I mean, we're just <laughs> not hell dimension. We're in hell. Wow, that looks awesome. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Damn. Okay, you got to hit that a little late. A little late, but then you got to jump right away. It's one thing about the robot is like, you can't just hold down the button and jump again. You really gotta, gotta press a lot of buttons. So cool looking. I love this level. It is absolutely fantastic. Damn, it plays really well too. Okay, here we go. Uh, the hardest part about the level, I would say, are just some of the jump ring timings. Like some of them you gotta hit early, some of them you gotta hit late. It's just a matter of like feeling your way through that. Other than that, I would say like the skill sections, like the flying and the, uh, the flying and the wave, they aren't too too hard. Okay, and here we go. Oh my god, it is Satan. This is the end. So in the end, we got sent down to hell, and now we have to fight Satan. Satan's like, I'm here to punish you, but I'm not I'm not gonna get punished. I am gonna do the punishing. That's right. Whipping whips and chains excite me, Satan. You think you're into the kinky stuff? I am into the super kink. And he looks so cool. Oh my god, he looks cool. Oh, that was uh there was a jump ring there that I totally whiffed. 
Okay, you gotta stay a little low. So it is pretty tight. Like, you gotta stay right on the path. If you deviate from the path, oh my god! If you deviate from the path a little bit, that's crazy! He lost his skin! Oh god. If you deviate from the path a little bit, he can kill you. It's pretty tight. Okay, now stay in the middle, and then follow the path again. So stay in the middle, but let's stay a little bit lower. So stay in the middle, and then we follow the path low again. And then stay in the middle. Oh, that's that's bananas. I love this boss fight. Because it like holds your hand a little bit by showing you where to go. But then there's also the times like he attacks where you gotta stay like dead center. That's it's it's cool. I, I really I really enjoy it. Oh my god. Okay, so we, we stay in the middle for one. A little low, and then we go up top. Okay, I can remember that. And is that it? Did we destroy Satan? Are we allowed back into heaven? I killed Satan. Or maybe we are an angel. No, no, no. We sinned. We went down to hell. We certainly went down to hell. This is an awesome ending, too. Wings of Angel. Okay, that is neat. So we went down to hell. We defeated Satan, and we were let back into heaven. Or we just went on a mission to kill Satan, and then went back into heaven. Either way... We fight Satan, and it's a really cool boss fight. That is dope. There's a lot to remember here. I would definitely call this a medium demon. This is... It certainly goes out of easy demon territory towards the end. The beginning is pretty easy, though. Damn. Very, very cool. Let's just... Let's just see how far we can get. <laughs> there is a low detail mode. I do lag a little bit, but I think it looks really cool in high detail, so... I want to show you guys it. You know, when I was starting YouTube... Not starting. When I started to do YouTube full-time... I bought this new computer. And computers, they just get outdated so quickly, you know? I think I gotta buy a new one already. Okay. Nice. Progress. Woo! This level definitely gets harder as we go! Oh boy! Once, go up. This is a pretty good attempt. Oh no. Oh my god, we did it! We did it! Yes, I did that mini way first try. Ah, what? <laughs> I jumped as the UFO like uh, a little too late or early. Maybe I should have fallen and then jumped. I don't know. Okay, we got a. That was a really good attempt. Normal. I'm gonna just gonna do one more attempt in practice. All right, I'm done. My second round of practice. I think we're good to go. The hardest part, like I said, is some of the jump ring timings. Like, after the robot, you have to, like, push the buttons, and, and then you gotta push the button as soon as you land. Once you can get past that, I think it's pretty easy to learn. The boss fight has a couple tricky bits, too, though, just because it is pretty fast, but... Ow! But other than that, I think we're good to go. I shouldn't have to go back into practice mode, I hope. It's a pretty long level, I think. I'm not too sure, though, because, you know, when you're playing it in practice mode, it is a little hard to gauge if it's long or not, just because, you know, you're restarting from the checkpoint over and over again, but... Did it! Let's go! Whoa, that was a close... <laughs> okay, we're going to hell! Let's not die here. Yep. Here we go. Fluke. Fluke. What? I, I didn't jump fast enough there. Oh, I jumped too far. And then I pressed to jump and I was like right behind the spike. Oh, man. I don't know why, but the robot parts tripped me out so hard. That was a solid attempt, though. Heck yeah. Nani? <laughs> I was still upside down. I didn't hit that jump ring. What was I thinking? Yes! Come on. That's hard. Come on! Are you kidding me?! <laughs> I got plopped out and I died. <gasps> Say it ain't so! I wanted to at least get to the boss fight! That was a good attempt, though. I mean, we made some... <laughs> we made some progress. I was like, Eric, you're gonna be the UFO. You gotta press a button pretty quick on this transition. Get ready for it. <laughs> okay, so I think I got most of the beginning parts on lockdown. There are definitely some timings that look like they're pretty easy, but this level's a little trickier than it looks at first glance. So it's like, it's a medium demon for sure. 
working its way up towards hard demon, but not, it's not quite a hard demon. It's just some timings that you really got to ingrain into your head, you know? Like, that one's not bad, but it's the next one you got to, like, as you come out, you got to push the button a little bit. Tap, tap, and then tap the jump ring. It's kind of... There's just a lot of little things like that you got to get used to, you know? Which, once you get, by the way, it feels really good to play. Like, once you get the timings and then you're successfully pulling them off, like, it's... It's really fun to do. But there's, there's a lot of little things. Tap, tap. Go. One, two, one, wait, and then go down. If you go too early there, you can die. This is a nice, easy wave. This part's really easy. Just hit that green jump ring late. Boom, let go, and then boom. Don't hit that too early. Hit that, fly up. And this part, you wait until you fall. One, one, two, one, 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 two, one, like that. Kind of a neat timing, but you gotta practice it. You gotta go up a little higher and then go down all the way, and then boom, hit that. Okay. We got it, we got it. Now that I've talked it through, we've got it. Uh, that, see, that timing is really hard because like, you hit the first jump ring and then the second one you have to hit late, otherwise you'll hit the spike. You hit the second one late, although depending on how late you hit it, sometimes you gotta jump right away as the robot when you go up to the top, but sometimes you gotta wait a split second before you jump. It's crazy, but you gotta just tap buttons really quick. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I knew that timing was gonna kill me. Which is unfortunate, because after that it's like the blue section, the ice section, and then the boss fight, right? The boss fight's gonna kill me a few times, though. Hands down. Like, I think- I, I basically know what to do during the boss fight. And I think I can remember the whole thing. Um, but man, there are some- Some of the attacks the boss does are very tight, like... You gotta be, like, right on the right path, otherwise you're boned. Yes! Yes! Boss time! I went up too high! Are you kidding me? <laughs> you gotta go up really high there. But I stayed up too high. It was just a smidgen! Like, I just... Oh my god! I'm gonna have to practice that again. Oh, see? You can go too early there. Oh my god. That, that jump ring timing is really unforgiving. was a little too low, really. Oh my god, you have to be exactly on those orbs? Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, we did it! Okay, wait, 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 wait. We didn't do it yet. Most stressful. 10 seconds of my life. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> the most stressful 10 seconds of my life! Yes, we did it! Oh my god, that took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. Holy man, that is a tough medium demon. Now that is a bonkers cool level though, don't get me wrong. This is dope as hell. Holy crap, and like, once you understand the gameplay, it feels so good to play. But man, there's a lot of little bits, a lot of little jumping timings that you gotta get used to. Oh damn, but it certainly feels good in the hands. There's some parts that has like some really good uh, music sync to it. Oh, it's cool. Wings of Angel is an absolutely fantastic level. Huge thumbs up to all the four creators. Um, it's not in the description here, so I can't really see, but I know uh, Jerkrat and the other ones that were in the title card, I should have mentioned them. Damn, very cool level. The boss fight is awesome. The boss fight looks incredible. Like, the descent from heaven into hell to fight Satan is just, it's just a cool concept, you know? It gets, like, darker, and as the song gets crazier also, like, there's a lot of build-up to it. It's, it's really cool. It's just a dope level. Difficulty-wise, I would say... It's certainly, I guess it's, I can just say a demon because it's not rated yet. Uh, I would say it's a medium demon, but starting to get towards the harder end of things. It's like, it's like just above a very medium demon. It's like a medium hardish, right? Not quite a hard demon, but it's a medium hard demon. Pretty tough. Took me 275 attempts, but you have to keep in mind that even though it's 275 attempts, the level's quite long, so each attempt is quite long as well. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yeah, damn, awesome level. You guys did fantastic. Thanks for the dedication, by the way. It blows my mind that there's like works of art, masterpieces like this that get dedicated to me. You know, I'm just, I'm just a player of the game. I haven't, I have no like creator credentials whatsoever. So I really appreciate it when like something of this magnitude is dedicated to me. That's it's beautiful. Thank you guys so much. That's incredible. And good luck on a Jonathan GD's creator contest. Good luck to you guys. Anyways, fantastic level. You guys should all give it a check out. It's ridiculously good. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, peace.